A very good evening. I'm Aditi Lama and you are tuned into tonight's segment of South Asian News with Vision of Asia. The sweet festive energy of Indian traditions and heritage has been visible throughout the nation, keeping up with the spirits of Indian festivals. This month, we have also had the ongoing theme of honoring Indian nonprofit contributions to the global community, especially on empowering and providing for the ones in need. We'd also like to take this moment now and reach out to all political and social South Asian organizations involved in raising political awareness and participation from members of our community as we near the U.S. midterm elections. Remember, the elections are happening on November 6th. With that, let's begin the episode for tonight, taking a look at the headlines. Edison Chamber of Commerce hosts 19th Annual Awards Reception in New Jersey. Nargisad Memorial Foundation invites all to 2018 Fundraising Gala at ITV Gold Studio. Gala State Culture Association organizes 27th Annual Durga Puja Festival in Plainfield, New Jersey. More on the other side of the break. Stay with us in Vision of Asia, Voice of the Community. We'll be right back. Welcome back. I am Aditi Lama and you're watching Vision of Asia, South Asian news segment. Let's begin the episode taking a look at the upcoming 2018 fundraising gala of Nargis Dutt Memorial Foundation to be held in New York on October 28th at the Marriott Hotel and Convention Center. A non-profit charitable organization, the foundation is run by Board of Trustees, which includes Bollywood star Sanjay Dutt, Priya Dutt and Namrata Dutt, all for the cause of raising awareness and funds for cancer and its treatment in India. The New York chapter of the Nargis Dutt Memorial Foundation has provided financial support to over 50 projects with numerous hospitals receiving equipment for detection of cancer and its treatment for needy patients while also providing funds for education of medical professionals in India. Recognized as one of the oldest organizations in the U.S. that is working towards awareness, prevention and treatment, the Foundation's galas every year bring more strength and support for the great cause. With October known as the Breast Cancer Awareness, the gala for Nargis Dutt Memorial Foundation surely falls on a perfect time to get more voices heard. Recently, we spoke to prominent members from the foundation to get more insight on the upcoming gala this weekend. I would really like for you to reflect upon the growing problem of breast cancer among South Asians and why was there a need to have a branch of this foundation here um, with uh, the Nargisa Foundation. So we'll start from you. Okay, this is not only breast cancer, all type of cancers in India. What we do, this is a very prestigious organization. I've been in it since the inception of it with Inderji in various capacities. And uh, we have no administration cost. Whatever is raised, we buy the equipment of for cancer in India and we give it to the nonprofit organizations there or the hospitals so that they can use the equipment to cure the patients. All type of cancer. So this is what it is. And that's how the gala is coming up to raise some funds and then we can buy the equipment. Beautiful. And there, are, and this organization is very prestigious. Sunil Dadji started it, and Indarji will explain to you all about it. And we have no administration cost. Every penny goes to India. So please donate generously. Thank Beautiful. you. And just talking more about this, opening the platform a little bit up to all of you, do you both consider that um, Indian population currently even now doesn't participate enough in cancer awareness? Do you think there is a lack of one resources into awareness when you talk about the community here and in India? Yeah, we have uh, cancer is all over the world, but especially in uh, India. Punjab is a Bhatinda area, is the most affected in the cancer and it, it, even the train goes every day from Bhatinda to Rajasthan to carry all the person is a cancer patient. Cancer is a, anybody has a cancer in the family people they are just like ups and downs in the whole family. Mm -hmm. So this one we are trying to raise the money for the cancer society and just like Ashiji told you that we, we don't send money cash to anyone. Mm -hmm. We only send money as a, uh, equipment. Just like uh, we already send more than $5 million already we send. And we have another project going about more than a million, uh, million or two. And out of this one, we already send 
almost about uh, three, four hundred of thousand dollars. We already sent the money to in to as a machinery to India. Bindaji, I will have to ask you, someone who's been associated so strongly with the foundation, and you know, you've also served as the past president. The foundation has a very close relationship with none other than Sunil Dutt and Nargis Dutt, and there's a huge story behind it. I would love for you to sort of talk about how the foundation was made and why was there a need to start a New York chapter for it? This foundation, after the death of Nargunti, which I was very much involved, I was with them in the hospital, I was all the time with them. And after her death, the Sunil Dutt and myself, we sat together and Nargis had some vision and she always keep to uh, tell us right. that look, I have the money and I came to America hmm. for the treatment. But what about those people who don't have the money in India right. and they cannot get a treatment? So you should start something which you help Indian people in India hmm. and do for them. So that's how after her death, myself and Sunil that we started this foundation in 1982. This gala is coming and I'd like to request all the tri-state people they should come and they should help us mm -hmm. and so that we can raise money. See, one life is saved in India. We feel that's... Right now, you all are preparing for the gala. Yeah. I would love for you to discuss about the process it has taken to put forth this amazing gala together. And, you know, how has the experience been for you who sits on the executive committee and deals with so many of these resources that are being laid out for those communities in India? Gala is coming up. We all are working. Right. We have a very good fashion show. We, we have uh, honorees, there are only three. Then we have uh, Sam Petroda. I want to request all our Indian community in Tri-State area, yeah. come up and uh, open heart support us. Mm -hmm. So that is the main goal because if they support us, we're going to support in India, needed people in India. That is the only way of doing it and uh, we all come here to request them to come up with an open heart. When you are now coming to this gala that is happening on October 28th, what is your personal expectations from Ms. Shea Singhji and then also when you're looking at the audience and you're communicating with the Indian American community, what else do we still need to really tackle that issue in India? Thank you for having us. <clears throat> First of all, greetings from the NDF to all your ITV viewers. And the main objective of the Nargis Foundation is to improve and upgrade medical care and treatment of cancer-related patients. And the second of the objectives also is to provide financial support and training for education of doctors coming from India in cancer field. Having said that, Nargis has completed over 60 projects. I have donated several million dollars for the machineries, equipments which we have donated to several hospitals, non-profit hospitals. Priya Dattji, who is a patron, daughter of Sunil Dutt, is coming and she also has a projects which we want to fund in near future, the mobile type of uh, center where you will have the handheld machines to detect cancers in the villages and other places. Wow. So again, our utmost effort will be to raise as much we can for upcoming projects. Thank yeah. you. Well, thank you so much for being with us on ITV Gold, everyone. This was the Nargis Dutt Memorial Foundation. They are coming up with their 2018 fundraising gala, which is being held on October 28th. Do visit their website and get an information on what the foundation is doing and how important cancer awareness and its resources are. Amit Lama signing off. Take care. Let's now take a look at another segment of the ongoing festivities of Durga Puja happening this month. The festival marks triumph of good over evil, symbolized by slaying of Devan Mahishasura by Hindu goddess Durga. The festival features elaborate temple, pandals, scripture recitations, performance art, revelry, processions and much more. This and a lot more was seen at the recently held 27th annual Durga Puja festival organized by the Garden State Cultural Association in Plainfield, New Jersey. 
with this prime objective to promote Indian social, cultural and religious events throughout the year. The association also provides several opportunities for Indian youth to get involved in the rich and ancient cultural heritage of India through many of these various talent shows and events throughout. The Durga Puja festival encompassed many cultural aspects including vendor booths, performance arts, later followed by traditional Durga Puja prayers and processions. Let's take a look at some highlights from this. We are very excited to have the Sharad Shundari fashion show. It is an empowering way to highlight um, the attire and what we love about um, Bengali attire and Bengali culture and having women um, come up here and uh, walk and do this fashion show is um, one of those very fun but also um, festive and, and empowering ways to just highlight our culture. I'd like to welcome all of you to our 27th year of Garden State Cultural Association Puja. Uh, we are expecting a, a large crowd today. Next year, please visit us because it's not about just religious programs, but also cultural program. And we have about 19 vendors selling their wares and uh, services. Uh, so next year, please visit us at www.gsca.us and learn about our, our organization, but also visit us next year for the puja celebration, cultural program, and, and uh, other, other uh, amenities that we offer. So again, Garden State Cultural Association, remember us. This is the 27th year we are celebrating Durga Puja at Plainfield High School right now. Um, every year we celebrate this uh, occasion and uh, this is in a very homely atmosphere that we do. We're here to support the small business owners and the community and uh, we have a great launch for Fusion which is our uh, new branding for our business banking uh, again where we're focusing on uh, delivering solutions to small business owners uh, will cover and uh, provide support to any uh, client who's looking for any need, whether on the business side or the personal side. Thank you. We are doing this Durga Puja not only to educate them through by our culture, but also uh, so that they can 
bring these things in the upcoming years to come as well in their heart. Om Atri Bharati Ganga Jamuna Cha Saraswati Saraju Gandha Ki Punya Seta Ganga Cha Koshiki Bhogavati Cha Patale Sarge Matlakini Tatha Sarpa Sumana Sobhutva Vringarui Akon Shrapayantutam Om Surastama Vishinchantu Brahma Vishnu Maheshara Vasu Deva Javannadar Tathashankar Sano Prabhu What you can see here at the back is the Durga Puja that GSCA has been organizing and celebrating for the past 27 years. One of the purposes of doing this is also to engage our future generation um, so that they understand um, and know about the tra tradition of what Durga Puja is, um, also get their engagement um, and uh, full pa participation in uh, this uh, pro program. <laughs> of the community will be right back. Welcome back, you are watching Vision of Asia, bringing you prime South Asian highlights from all across. In New Jersey, the Edison Chamber of Commerce comprises of a network of businesses in the greater Edison Township area who work together to promote economic growth and successes in the field, empowering the large number of South Asian businesses that thrive successfully in New Jersey. This chamber works as a liaison in forwarding interests of the entire Edison business community to various leaders and other important individuals in local and state offices. Recently, the Edison Chamber of Commerce hosted its 19th annual awards reception, honoring more than a dozen businesses, individuals, nonprofits, and teachers who have made a difference in the lives of Edison residents. Let's take a look at some highlights. Assemblywoman Nancy Pinkin and I'm here today with the Edison Chamber of Commerce and Joe Coyle and we had a great night celebrating many honorees. Joe, what do you want to say a few words about this? Yes, great. well first Assemblywoman, I appreciate your time coming out to support us. On behalf of the honorees and the board of directors in our chamber, we're so thrilled to have these great stories here in Edison, so what a good night. Happy it's over myself and I'm looking forward to seeing my grandson. We are extremely proud and excited to be the recipient of this very prestigious award. Thank you to Edison Township and the Chamber for your ongoing support, your collaboration, and your sense of commitment. And together, the JCC and the Township of Edison look forward to working together, creating positive impact in all the programs, activities, and events that we have to offer to our wonderful Edison Thank you guys for this amazing award. On behalf of the entire Edison Police Explorers, we'd like to thank you for this award. And I would just like to say we wouldn't be able to do this with our, our, our amazing advisors and our amazing members that help us. And we do a lot of community service events and we take a lot of time and effort and put it back into the community. And we wouldn't be able to do it without the help of you guys and without the help of our members. So once again, thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the freeholders here in Middlesex County, I want to thank you for what you do to make Middlesex shine. Uh, we are the second largest county in the state of New Jersey. We're actually, actually population-wise, larger than the state of Alaska, but we're the best county in the land. So I want to thank you. It's my privilege to uh, give out the Student of the Year Award. Uh, students are no longer, the, these young people are no longer the future. 
young people are the present. If you don't believe me, try setting up your entertainment system or operating under your control. The young lady who I'd like to introduce to you has been a Girl Scout for 12 years. Um, she's actually been involved in anti-bullying programs. And what I thought was most honorable about all of her accomplishments is her goal is to go off to be go go off to college, learn to be an elementary school teacher, and come back to Edison and give back to the township that's given so much to her. I'd like to start by saying I'm so thankful and grateful for the honor of being named Student of the Year, and I would like to thank the Chamber of Commerce for choosing me for this award. I did not see it coming, ever. Uh, when my mom told me, I was very surprised, actually. Uh, but ironically, though, the reason I'm standing here being able to accept this award is not because of me. Uh, I'm here due to the tremendous support system that I have behind me. And personally, I'd like to thank everyone who I got to invite here tonight because each and every one of you has affected me in a positive way that has built my character to who I am today. So, when I joined this chamber about seven to eight years ago, and uh, I, my whole aim was to mix, to bridge the gap between the Indian um, Business Association and the American Business Association. I've succeeded so far. So this event today is basically to give back to the community, to recognize the people who have worked above and beyond and gone out of the way to make a difference to the community and help people. Edison Chamber of Commerce takes pride in representing those people and giving back to them and awarding them for their uh, services. Um, thank you very much and I do hope that in the future our Indian community and the American community get together and, and grow Edison. So it's a great honor and uh, very humbling to receive this award. Um, no one person can do this thing. You know, it's a teamwork between clients, township officials, um, by, you know, all the, the consultants, everybody related in the construction industry. Um, our family and friends, we, we can't do stuff without their support in the back. And of course, the man upstairs, nothing happens without him. Once again, thanks to the Edison uh, Chamber of Commerce and everybody else involved uh, for this award. It feels great, you know, it's like uh, one in the, in the whole city of Edison Township, which is, uh, which is a big town, a major town to be awarded this kind of a project, uh, this kind of an award, it's, uh, it's a great honor and it's humbling and of course it does not happen just by one person, it's a team operation with, um, with the clients, with the township officials, with the family friends and of course um, the man upstairs, without his grace nothing happens. So, so you know we, we continue to do this and we hope um, we can provide the best services going forward. Hi, um, my name is Suchitra Kamat. I'm from Minuteman Press in Edison, and we had a great night tonight for the Edison Awards um, at the Pines Manor, and uh, Minuteman Press Edison was actually a sponsor to the uh, event, and I'm uh, very proud and very happy, um, and I really want to congratulate all the winners of the awards tonight. And this is all for tonight's segment of South Asian Highlights. Remember, elections are on November 6th, so do send us your suggestions to get your voices and organizations on our show. Write to us on events at itvgold.com or follow us on Facebook at itvgold. Remember to also subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch many of our shows for free. Tune in this Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern for our topics of the week. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is Vision of Asia, and I am Aditi Lamba. Take care and goodbye.